Hi everyone and welcome to my Thank Card It's Friday. I, I am a little bit crook, um, so please excuse my voice. Today we'll be making this vintage Always Artichoke card and it's an actual easel card. So it sits up like that. Now why I've chosen Always Artichoke is um, my surrogate grand, my surrogate mum um, is, I call her surrogate mum because she's adopted pretty much me and my family since my mum passed away and I've known her for quite a long time, is turning 60 on Monday. So I've made this card for her um, and she loves the colour green. And I didn't want to go all green and I, so I put a little bit of rich razzleberry as well um, and this um, little adornment from Vintage Flowers. This is an old um, uh, embellishment from Stampin' Up! And this one here, I'll, I'll show you some tips on how to make this ribbon. This ribbon was actually just, I didn't have any always artichoke seam binding ribbon, so I actually got the very vanilla and I ink it up using my sponge. So I'll show you a little bit of tips of that as well. So keep on watching, excuse my voice, and um, I'll start making the card. Okay, so this shape of the card is actually with the um, Stampin' Up! Square Scallop Large Bigs die. And it's clear so you can see where you're putting your cardstock in. So I've cut this out, the base, I've cut that out, and then also the top layer of the card. So I'll put that through. So the colour combination is always artichoke. Now, I saw this colour combination with Rich Razzleberry at a lady at church, um, and I just thought, Oh, it was funny because I got my post-it note hold on while we're in church and wrote down the colour combination. So it's funny where you find inspiration with your colour combinations from. So that's where I found my colour combination from. All right. So pulling that big shot aside. That will be my top layer of the card, and then also my card base. So my pieces to go on top of my card are going to be a old olive card stock and a whisper white. Now I know it this whisper white <laughs> definitely doesn't look like I used whisper white, but I used a lot of sponging um, to get that vintage layer spray look. Okay, so pretty much I'm just inking this up here with um, the stamp set from Nature's Walk. Um, I think, you know, it's definitely a nature's type stamp and I love the rustic look to it all. So I'll be using the butterfly, the little number 147 um, for this green background <clears throat> and as well as that element there. Alright, so to get started, I'm grabbing my Always Artichoke ink and I'll just zoom in so you can see what I'll be doing. So this is the back of the card. So I'll be just randomly stamping around just where you think you can see the card stop. Okay, grabbing my old olive and that floral image and I'm just layering on top. like that. Okay, so then I'm going to grab my Always Artichoke sponge and my ink. And I want to heavily sponge that around. You can see what I mean with heavily sponge when it gets into focus. Um, I like to have this, especially the edges, heavily sponged if I'm going for that type of look. Okay, so what I've also done is I have got a mini mister and apparently Stampin' Up! in the US have these already um, as kind of spritzer, um, but here in Australia we don't, so I've used a substitute which is this mini mister. Now what I've done to create this in this actual mini mister is I've put always artichoke ink and I have put frost white paint from Stampin' Up! the shimmer paint and it is fantastic for adding an extra gleam or shim to your cardstock. And then I've just added some water. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to spray this 
um, cardstock, except it keeps going out of focus. And I'm just going to grab a scratch piece of paper and spray this pretty much. So I just want to give it a good coating. It doesn't look like much, but when you actually pull it away, you can see how heavy I was on the um, on that. So it's I'll give that to dry. So that's why I've done this part of the this portion of the card first because I need to let that component dry unless I whack it with a heat gun. But that should dry by the time we get to it. Also, the same with the ribbon. I will be doing the ribbon first as well. So using my very vanilla seam binding ribbon, I have just cut a strip off and I've just got my sponge and I'm just pretty much going to sandwich it in between the ink and the sponge and just pull it along. Now because it's, it's going to be a little bit splotchy, but I'm okay with that because the, if you have a look again at the card close up, the ribbon isn't perfectly coloured. So I just keep going along, inking this ribbon up to however light or dark you want it. And you can pretty much do this with any, with any of the inks if you don't have that colour seam binding ribbon. I start with this end, work my way over. So yes. So I'm happy with that colour. And then what I'm going to do also, grabbing my scratch piece of paper again, I'm also going to spritz this, take the lid off, spritz this um seam binding ribbon because it will add another shimmer to it as well. And then I just also scrunch this up because I want a little bit of a rustic look to that. So I'll just leave that scrunched up and let that to dry on the side as well. Alright, so now I've got the Whisper White piece which I actually turned to a different colour. I grab my old olive and with circular motions I just bring this colour in. I'm using old olive first because that's the base and mostly the centre. Now it doesn't worry me that if you can actually see the circles because pretty much with the layering of the ink you start to cover that cardstock. You can see how quickly this Stampin' Up! Whisper White cardstock absorbs the ink and it's fabulous this cardstock with using dye inks. Okay. Now I'm going to grab my Always Artichoke and just on the edges, probably about a quarter of the inch going in. Okay, then I'm also going to sponge the edge like this so the artichoke gets a little bit deeper on the edges. Okay, so then I'm going to use my Always Artichoke ink to um, stamp the butterfly. Now I'm just going to figure out where, okay, I'm going to stamp my butterfly on the top and with this sentiment here, except I'll just give that a little bit of a clean, just that bit there. I'm going to use my markers, so I'm using Rich Razzleberry and Always Artichoke. I'm going to be using my Rich Razzleberry. on the flower component. And then always artichoke ink on the stems and the leaves.
Okay. So I do this a couple of times on this cardstock and I huff on this before I step. And I'm going to step once, then twice, and then I'll do the same again on this side. So here's my stamped image and then I'm going to place that onto Rich Razzleberry cardstock. And I've only put down, a, I've only made a really like incredibly thin border around. And then what I'll do is I'll use my sticky strip and my Victoria Lace ribbon. And I'm just going to put on the side there an edge. And I'm going to put sticky strip, uh, sticky strip underneath it so the actual ribbon doesn't move. I'll put a strip, a sticky strip across here to stick my ribbon. And you can see here already how this ribbon has dried. It's got that nice crumpled look to it. Okay. managed to peel that sticky strip off eventually. It took a little bit. Um, and then now I'm just going to get this ribbon and just ruffle it around like that and then just giving it a trim on the edges like that so it's very rustic ribbon on there and then I just place that onto that old olive cardstock that we stamped and spritz so I'll just stick this down on the main component. This is the front of the cardstock. And then I'm going to use dimensionals actually to put this on because of the ribbons already layered. And it won't lay flat on the actual cardstock. Sorry about my voice again. I actually lost my voice last Friday and um, <clears throat> that was a challenge for me trying to have the three kids and not boss them around and boss my husband around. <laughs> but they loved it. Okay, so that there is coming together. So all I've done is also use this um, like a rosette from Adornments Vintage Flowers and this was a long long time ago um, last year sometime so grabbing my sticky strip again I'm going to use sticky strip this time instead of a glue dot I'm just stuck a little bit behind that flower and just peeling that off if I can I'm not having luck with my sticky strip today am I okay and then just sticking that there so that's the front component of our card now, with the bot, with this card here, what you need to do is you need to score from the left, top left to the bottom right. So I'll just grab my scoring tool and then I'll zoom out so you can actually see. As well. All right. So when you look at the card open, I have scored the top left down to the bottom right of the first page or the first half. Alright, so then I'm just going to grab some sticky strip and you only want to put sticky on this first, on this bottom half because if you put sticky on the bottom then you'll just pretty much cover the top and it won't make an easel card. Alright, so just taking that off, a sticky strip, oh this, this sticky strip is giving me grief. Okay. Okay, and then folding it down so I know where I'm going to stick it. I'm going to match my scallops, scallop for scallop, on this card and press down on this bottom right where it is. And that's how you get this easel component. Okay, now to keep it up, I'm going to put a little... Um, frame on the inside to help anchor it and I use dimensionals um, just so you can help anchor it when it sits flat. All I've done is used the stamp frame from 4Frames which is one of my favourite stamp sets to use 
and using Whisper White, stamping it with Always Artichoke, grabbing my decorative label punch. I am going to face it upside down so I can see where I'm punching. I'm going to punch that out. I'm also going to punch an Always Artichoke cardstock out as well. Okay, so I don't, this is too white for me, so no, knowing me, I'm just going to sponge the edges just a little. Just because I felt this cardstock was very white, and then lightly sponge on the inside as well. Alright, now I'm going to cut this Always Artichoke decorative label piece, and I'm going to cut from the bottom. Um, left to the top right diagonally across meeting the scallop, the scallop. Then I'm going to grab my snail and I'm going to layer the frame on like that. Okay, so then I'm going to just grab my dimensionals which I've somehow, oh no here they are, I thought I had lost them. Okay, and I'm going to put this towards the center of the card here. You can put any sentiment you want in it, and that's how the easels anchor is by using that. So I hope you like Thank Cards Friday. Sorry about my voice again, I have been extremely unwell. Um, but if you like this kind of look, please comment or like. I even got a Facebook page called Show Me The Love. So come and visit it and hit like. Um, and I look forward to any questions. Always just leave a comment and ask questions on my YouTube or my um, Facebook site. Alright. Now I always look out for Thank Card. It's Friday next week. See you later.